not been a high sheriff, I've already started incorrectly, uh, because I believe the proper term I should have used was Lord Lieutenant, High Sheriff in nomination, over there, uh, Chief Constable, uh, reciprocate members, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. So uh, we're delighted to be here actually. Um, you will remember that um, a few months ago we were at the Ashmolean, uh, which was when we launched this whole idea of reciprocate. So, and we've got some really exciting things to share with you tonight. But the most exciting thing is that we're actually here in the Thames Valley headquarters. Mm. Um, because a few people have made this possible, not least Francis, who's kindly hosted us, and I have never seen so much food. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> this is obviously Thames Valley's idea of canapes, so fantastic. Um, but importantly, Andy Boyd, who sat very discreetly in the corner there, has actually become almost a virtual member of our team. Um, earlier on in the year, we launched some research, which was Oxfordshire Uncovered, and Andy has been out there on the road telling everyone that they need to read a copy. And I really can't thank him enough because we have now started this fantastic relationship. Um, only yesterday, somebody from the team in the office was actually out with one of Andy's community policemen uh, looking at a project which is creating a task force between some of the neighborhood policing teams, lots of local charities, people from the enforcement office of the city council really dealing with some serious problems that we all know about housing and homelessness but doing it in a really positive way, fantastic story. So I think um, there's lots more that we can do with the police and we're really excited to be here. So thank you, Francis. Um, but more importantly, why, why are we actually here? Um, obviously tonight is about reciprocate. Um, Michael, who's from Beards, has actually already asked me, what is reciprocate? <laughs> so I think we've got some work to do, but the most exciting thing is we have only been really going since about March and we've made a lot of progress already. So I think the purpose of me is tonight is just to run through some of the really good things that have been happening. Um, you probably will have heard about our work experience project. So this document here is hot off the press. Sadly, Hunts have had to leave, but they did deliver it in time. So thank you very much, Hunts. And thank you to Heather from Blenheim Palace, sitting over there, who helped put this together. Um, what, why was a project work experience even thought of? Uh, it's something that young people at school have to do. It's part of their sort of year when they get to sort of 15, 16, they're expected to find themselves a placement. Not really that easy if you're from a family who doesn't have parents that are well connected or networked into business networks. It's really difficult. So my personal plea would be that reciprocate members we don't just pay lip service to this document, fantastic that it is, but actually we commit to find those sort of individuals and give them work experience opportunities. It's fantastic for, for a young person to be just in an, in an organization that they would probably quite, be quite fearful of and think, oh, I don't want to go there. But actually imagine if you can give them a good experience, what they would think about you as a business, but also <coughs> that suddenly they know Richard now that's somebody they could email and say, I'm thinking of putting my CV together, could you help me? I came and spent two weeks in your office. So that's really what work experience is about. It's not just having somebody to um, stand at the photocopier for four hours and do photocopying. That's not a good experience. And I think the, uh, the booklet describes some of the great things that can be done, some of the successes that many of you as businesses are already doing. And I, um, so I would say, don't leave without it. We've got packs to take away. Um, another thing that we've been doing is our reciprocate encounters, and Anna's here from Clark House, am I? Was she? <laughs> Disappointing. Um, and, and this is where businesses are coming together to actually uh, put on workshops for charities and give them sort of upskilling in sort of business things, so HR, finance, <coughs> governance, and the first of those workshops is actually starting at the end of November. Um, that's something they've been doing in partnership with ACBA, so we've been helping them find the charities. Um, and they're going to come to workshops. So that's another form of ways that businesses can get involved. Um, an another really important aspect, I think, one of the projects that we've been working on is employee volunteering. It's something that businesses keep telling us that they would like to do. It's something that we know is quite difficult. How do you find charities? How can you do something that's actually meaningful? Um, so one of the things that we believe Reciprocate could really help you with 
is actually to offer our services in a, in a way that would actually give you some time to think about what is volunteering. And that sounds like a simple question, but we see there's probably four different parts to volunteering. So yes, it could be the team, the team building day. Most people say to me, we want to go and paint a building, uh, paint a room, sorry. But how, if we think about it, how useful is that? How many rooms can you paint? Yes, it's great for the business to come together and have an event, but really, what does the charity really need? So we've identified, there's things like role modeling. So we talked about work experience. Just having the chance for some people from disadvantaged backgrounds <coughs> to actually meet people who've been successful, to share sort of ways that they might be able to get on or do different things. So that's a really important aspect. Obviously the advice. Lots of you have got lots of skills, lots of professional qualifications. Those are things that charities could find useful. <coughs> um, so I think that those are really positive things that we can do. And another good example, having worked with Andy recently, is GP practices are starting to work with the Thames Valley Police because a lot of the people that refer themselves to the GP are lonely old people. Now, if there was a way for the GPs to say, well, actually, we've got these people that can come and call you up or go and get your shopping, that would be perfect volunteering that all businesses could get involved in. It wouldn't take a lot of time. Some of these things don't take time. It's just joining up the dots. Um, so I think that's a really exciting thing that we're, we're going to be sharing more details on that. Um, but we believe it's something that you've been telling us you would really like, um, and we feel that if we want to have more impact, then that's something that we can help you with. Um, <coughs> so that's the exciting news. And, um, <coughs> so we mentioned uh, two very exciting things. So reciprocate volunteering is the first thing, um, but also there's something that is about to launch, has launched, is our Reciprocate website. Um, because I think we're producing lots of useful tools and things that you could use in your businesses and help you understand how you could have greater impact. Um, so I'm delighted that we now have reciprocatebox.org. Um, everyone's going to be sent a link. Kate has kindly been working on this very hard. And next week, every business is actually going to have their own individual logins where a lot of these resources will be made available to you and anyone within your business. So that's um, another really exciting development. Um, but now back to Thames Valley Police, I think, is why we're here, isn't it, Francis? Um, so as I say, we are delighted to be here, and I hope that throughout the evening, um, from some of the presentations that you're going to hear, Thames Valley Police Force is a fantastic organization. We're really lucky that it's actually housed here in Kidlington, uh, in Oxfordshire. Um, because it's one of the best forces in the, in the UK. So um, with that, I'm going to hand over to Francis and say thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs>